Some languages sound like this. And other languages sound like this. Let's learn why. What makes this difference between languages? Word stress. Words are made of pieces called syllables. These are pieces of sound. These pieces are usually made with a consonant like k, p, t, m, or a consonant cluster like f, st, kr, followed by a vowel like a, i, e. So let's look at some words. We have pizza and photo. We're going to use our vowel symbols. So if you haven't learned those yet, go check out our video in the i box above or in the description below. Pizza sounds like pizza and photo sounds like photo. So using the rule I gave you, how do we divide pizza? Consonant plus vowel, p. Consonant cluster plus vowel, ts. And for photo, fo, to. Good. Let's look at another word, purple. First of all, I'm gonna need a new rule. So a syllable can also be a consonant or consonant cluster, a vowel, and a sonorant consonant. What is a sonorant? Well, a sonorant uses the vocal cord vibrating and the sound is produced for a long time. Vowels are sonorants, but some examples of sonorant consonants are m, n, r, o. So our word sounds like purple. So what are the syllables? Per, pull. Two syllables. Okay, another word, yellow. It sounds like yellow. And I'm just gonna tell you the syllables. They are ye and lo. Wait a second. What happened there? Our last rule would make it yell and o. Oh. Let's make our rule clearer. So far we have consonant, plus a vowel, plus a sonorant consonant. But if the next sound is a vowel, that sonorant consonant should move to the next syllable. That's gonna make the second syllable sound a lot stronger. So notice the difference here with me. If the sonorant consonant stays on the first syllable, we have yell, o. Oh. But if it moves to the second consonant, you have more strength in that second consonant. Yellow, yellow. That's a good beginning to understanding syllables in English. It can get more complicated, so let's practice some easy words and some more complicated words. Try to separate these words and write your answers in the comments below. We'll let you know which ones you got right and how to fix the ones that you got wrong. Our words are Beijing, eliminate, bookcase, journey, triumph, owl, girl, birthday, cashmere, and anti-disestablishmentarianism. On Friday this week, we'll publish a bonus video, Syllables Masterclass. We'll explain the words from this list that are difficult and give you some new rules to add to your list. So now you know what a syllable is. Every language has syllables, but languages do different things with syllables. In Chinese languages, Korean, Japanese, each syllable is equal and pronounced equally. But in languages like English, German, Mongolian, not every syllable is equal. Some are more important and some you almost don't hear at all. In English, our basic rule is you only stress one syllable in each word. Let's look at the word establishment. There are four syllables, a, sta, 
plush men. And one syllable is stronger than the others. We call this stress. But how to make stress? If you speak a language where the syllables are all equal, you might try to make the stronger syllable louder and longer. But this may make it sound like you're yelling. So in this word, sta is the stressed syllable. If we use that strategy for this word, it might sound like establishment. If we speak every word in every sentence like that, making one syllable louder and longer, that would be exhausting. So what do we do? English uses something called reduction to make one syllable stressed. This strategy would make the other syllables in the word really short and the vowel would get reduced to a central vowel. Do you remember which vowel sound is super short and central? That's right, uh, up is so short that sometimes you don't even think there's a vowel sound being spoken. And this word is a good example of that. Our first vowel you can hear, but it's really short. Uh, a sta, a sta. It's almost just catching the air in your throat. And that's it. A sta, blush, mint. Establishment. Did I say mint? No. Did I say blush? No. I said blushment. So hopefully that helps you hear what reduction sounds like. Because of the way we reduce vowels, in conversational English, some vowels seem to just disappear. Hey Lauren, Gia. Gia. Nah, what about you? What about you? But turning every vowel in a weak syllable into uh won't work. Here's the word plagiarize. Oh, let me do this one. Play jurors. Yeah, that's not understandable. I don't know what Lauren is saying. So sometimes we do have to pronounce the vowel sound in weak syllables, but just make it shorter. This is the case in the word plagiarize. So the word sounds like play -ger eyes. So the first syllable is stressed. It's pronounced normally. So the second two syllables are shorter and faster. You can still hear I in the third syllable, but it's not very long. Plagiarize. So what are some common patterns for which syllable to stress? We have bum bum, ba bum, ba bum bum, bum bum bum, ba bum bum bum. There are also rules to let you know which stress pattern to use in a word. We have a video telling you the five most common syllable stress rules. That's linked in the i box above right now and in the description box below. Stay tuned for our next pronunciation video where we'll talk about how word stress creates the rhythm for sentence stress. Did you like this video? Give us a thumbs up so we can make more videos. And don't forget to subscribe below so you can catch everything we're doing each week. Ring that bell so you know when there's a new video. And we'll see you in the classroom.